morning everyone and happy Tuesday. Today is May 12th, 2020. Today is also the second day of Rainbow Week. I hope you have on your yellow clothes or orange and you find as many yellow or orange things around your house and take some pictures or videos today and send them to your teachers. All right, today we're gonna continue learning about poetry. Before that, I do have a couple shout outs. All right, these friends did a really nice job of making sure their poems rhymed and made sense about the subject they were writing about. Some were long, some were short, but all of them were fun to read and all of them, I could tell, came from the heart. All right, so as you check them out today, I want you to see what they were writing about, how they wrote it, how they expressed themselves, and how they made it their own voice. All right, shout out to Gabriel, Tyree, Naraya from Scranton, Carlos, Isaac, Aiden, Divine, Lewis, and Marquise. All right, let's roll the clip. Today we are going to dive into a cool new type of poem. Some of you might remember writing these in school. They're called acrostic poems. Acrostic poems play with the way a poem looks, the structure of it, and it can be read in two different directions, which is super cool. Poets, those are the people who write poetry, that's you. Poets who write acrostic poems they pick a certain idea or a certain word, and then they use that or idea or word to write the rest of the poem, okay? Now today, we are going to split this up into two parts. That means today is just part one, and tomorrow will be part two. So you'll have plenty of time to learn and to practice. All right, everyone. Today we are going to read a story called Anna and Adam Build an Acrostic. We are reading this before we plan out what we're going to write in our poem. Again, we are splitting it up into two parts and today is just part one when we are doing our brainstorm and our plan. And then tomorrow in part two, we will actually write the poem. As you listen to this story, I want you to notice their thought process. And what I mean by that is, I want you to notice how they're coming up with their ideas, how they're using them to write their poems, 
how they're editing their poems and how they're being true artists and true poets by letting themselves write freely. Okay, so when we do our brainstorm and our plan today, you are going to do that same thing. Don't worry, I'll show you how. For today's lesson, you're only going to need a blank piece of paper so you can make your plan and your pencil. In this case, I have my pen, but you are using a pencil. All right, let's get into the story. All right, here we go, friends. Anna and Adam build an acrostic. Why I like poetry. I never thought I'd say this, but I like poetry. I used to think poetry was for old people who never go outside. I thought that since I like poetry, I should keep it a secret. That's not true. Honestly, I did not like reading or writing at all until last year. Then I started reading comic books and got into reading and writing about everything, including poetry. My favorite kind of poetry is acrostic poetry. An acrostic poem starts with a word. You write the word up and down, so there's just one letter on each line. Then you fill in the lines. This poem I wrote spells acrostic. A poem with a clue on every line Read down, only first letters, soon you'll discover the mystery word. It's like a secret code. Notice how this spells the word acrostic and it all flows and it all has to do with it being an acrostic poem. Plit, okay. plit, plit. What was that noise? Plit, 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 plit. Anna turned to see little cereal pieces bouncing off her window. Adam, she called, opening her window. She saw her best friend leaning out of his own bedroom window across the alley. Shh, Adam hissed. I mean, be quiet, please. Here, he tossed her a balled up paper. Got it. Anna hissed back. She smoothed open the note. This note is for your eyes only. Put everything down at once. Sneak over for an emergency meeting at the clubhouse to read extremely interesting things. Anna grabbed her secret spy notebook and took off. Now I want you just to look over here at what it spells and keep that in mind as we go through it. Did anyone see you, Adam asked Anna as she crawled inside the clubhouse. I don't think so, Anna said. She plopped down next to Adam. Is this one of those poems Mr. Buxton was telling us about? An A something? Yeah, acrostic, Adam said. Anna peered at the note again. She ran her finger along the first letter of every line. T-O-P-S-E-C-R-E-T. -E -E it spells top secret. It spells top secret and it is top secret, Adam said. Check this out, he said, pulling out a pink notebook from behind his back. I found it in the bottom of a closet, he explained. Wow, this looks old, Anna explain, exclaimed. It's my mom's from when she was in high school, Adam said, turning to a page. Penny, I remember the starry night, star of me and you, everlasting love. Kenny, that's your dad, Anna said. She ran her finger along the left side of the poem. Wait a minute. This poem is an acrostic. It spells, kiss me, Adam gasped. Ew, the two friends yelled. Look at this one. Adam turned the page. Disgusting, annoying, rude. 
rarely mature, yucky hair loves to bug me. Daryl is my mom's brother, my Uncle Daryl, Adam explained. Wow, Anna said. And I thought my brother Stuart and I fought a lot. My mom's always telling us to be nicer to each other. Same with my sister Gloria, Adam added. Notice that it spells Daryl, her brother's name, and it's all about him. Same with the love note. Okay. Adam leaned back on a giant pillow and stared at the ceiling. Mom and Uncle Daryl are good friends now, though. Weird. I know, Anna said. Do you think you and Gloria will be like that someday? I don't know, Adam said slowly. Maybe. Anna leaned back on the pillow next to Adam. She squinted at the Christmas lights to make them look like stars. Anna, Adam said. Yeah, Anna blinked fast to make the stars twinkle. What would you write about if you were going to do an acrostic about Stuart? I don't know. What would you say about Gloria? I don't know, Adam shrugged. You want to try? Sure, Anna said. She sat up and ripped a page out of her notebook for Adam. Adam wrote G-L-O-R-I-A down his page. Anna wrote S-T-E-W-A-R-T. They started to fill in the lines. Then Anna sighed, <sighs> ripped her paper out of her notebook and crumpled it up. I can't think of a good R word for the R line. This is gonna happen, friends, so pay attention. All I have for G is giant, and that doesn't make any sense, Adam added. Let's just forget about the letters for a minute. We're supposed to start by free writing anyway. That's what Mr. Buxton would say. You guys remember that? That's a brainstorm. Making a plan. To warm up the brain, Anna said, with one raised finger doing her best to imitate their fourth grade teacher. List everything you can think of about your sister. She continued in her deepest voice. How she looks and smells, what you do together, how she makes you feel. Write everything that enters your mind. Don't worry about form yet. You can revise later. That means they can fix it later. And this is for all of you friends. Remember, you're trying your best. Yes, sir, Mr. Buxton, Adam said. That made Anna snort. <laughs> Ready, set, go, she said. And the two friends got to work. When they were done, they showed each other their lists. This is Adam's about Gloria. Gloria is a neat freak, loves to dance, rides a red bike, spends most of her money on clothes, loves spy stories like me, but pretends she doesn't, practices piano every night, I mean every day, oops, without being told, and likes to do puzzles with me, likes fishing with me at our family cabin. Anna, Stuart, smells like peanut butter, wears high tops that smell like sweaty feet, also wears skinny black jeans with a leather jacket a lot, has an iguana, keeps his old Pokemon cards, keeps notes from his old girlfriend Ashley, in a shoebox in his closet, still builds stuff with me with my Legos. So both of them give enough that you can picture what their family is like. Look at all those thoughts swirling around in their brain. I still don't have a good R word, Anna said. What about instead of smells like peanut butter, you said really loves peanut butter, Adam asked. I don't know, Anna sounded disappointed. She stared at her list for a while. Wait a minute, reeks, that means smells really bad. Like peanut butter might work. <laughs> The two friends worked by themselves for several minutes. Sometimes Adam had to stare at the ceiling more, and Anna stopped to squint at the lights. Pink eraser dust was everywhere. 
When they were done, they showed each other their poems. Anna went first. Grins, that means like a, a big smile. Luring in the fish on her line. So like bringing in the fish. That's what luring means. Reeling so slowly. That means it's coming in slowly. It's fun to be with at the cabin. Cool, Anna said. I liked thinking about fishing at the cabin, Adam explained. I know what you mean, Anna said. I liked thinking about Legos. I didn't even use reeks like peanut butter. Take a look. Still builds towers with Legos and eight kinds of spaceships and weird aliens and creepy robots. Too bad he stinks. Ha! Adam laughed. Remember that time you guys tried to make that Lego T-Rex, but it looked more like a cactus? Aha, Anna said. She crossed out towers and wrote T-Rex instead. We don't even really make towers, she explained. I just couldn't think of anything else. That might happen to us too, guys. But notice how they're, they're um, feeding ideas to each other. So you could do that with a family member at home or thinking to yourself as well. I just couldn't think of anything else, but now it's perfect. Wanna try writing with each other? Definitely, Adam said. I have an idea for A already. Awesome, at acrostics. I'm gonna read this to you guys because this is very, very true. You can write an acrostic poem too. Acrostic poems spell a word or phrase with the first letter of each line. Lines can be long or short, just like Miss Santa said in the beginning. There are as many lines as there are letters in the secret word or phrase. You can write your acrostic using someone's name or using any word you want. You can write long acrostic poems with more than one word too. Making lists can help you get started. Maybe you love winter. What do you like about the season? What words or phrases describe winter to you? This one is one that describes winter. Do not worry about the form right away. Just let yourself write freely. Let yourself be an artist. Once you have a lot of ideas, write your word or phrase down on your notebook page and experiment with your notes. Try different combinations because again, the first time it may not work and that's okay. Try different combinations. Try reading your poems out loud to yourself or a friend. When you're ready, you can put it all together. Snow a mile deep, no school today. Outside in the white, crisp, sparkling sunshine, we fight a battle with snow. Dusk comes in the early winter. All I want is one more hour because I'm not ready to come in yet. So this all talks about winter, having snow days, playing outside. Okay, we're about to get started on ours. All right, grab that pencil and your paper and let's start brainstorming. Let's think about what we want our poem to be about today. There are so many different topics you could choose from. It's actually amazing. You could talk about your family or friends, right? Let's see, family or friends. And right now I'm just jotting down ideas. And you can jot down ideas as they come to your mind too. Family or friends, teachers. Right, write about the people you haven't seen in a while. You could write about school. Let's see, thinking about your everyday life and what you go through, who you see, what you do. Okay, maybe a favorite sport. That helps you have fun in everyday life. Hmm, thinking about the things I love to do. I love to eat, maybe a favorite food. Maybe my favorite subject. Let's see. Hmm. Someone famous. Oh, now 
the ideas are flowing. I want them to flow for you too. An author? What are some ideas you have? Awesome. Let's write that down. All right, let's see. What else could we write about? Ooh, a day of the week that might be one you look forward to. The seasons. Music. Art. Ooh, maybe a memory you have. All right. So this is what my list looks like. And you can pause the video to look at it. And I want you to choose just one. And I want you to write as many things that come to your mind about that one thing. So I'm going to look through my list and I'm going to choose just one. Okay. So I chose day of the week. I'm going to write about my favorite day of the week. I chose that. So now off here in the bottom part of my paper, I'm going to write as many things that come to my mind about um, my favorite day of the week. My favorite day of the week is Monday. When I think about Mondays, I'm just writing whatever comes to my mind. So start to the week. I'm not thinking about the poem yet because we're doing that tomorrow. Start to the week. What else happens on Mondays? It's a fresh start. Relaxed from the weekend. Ready to go. Thinking about words that remind you of what you're writing about. So I'm going to write motivated. Positive. Okay. This is what I have for my brainstorm about Monday. This is what you're going to be using when you write your poem tomorrow. Now, I want you to keep going. Okay. And when you feel like you have enough ideas for when you write your poem tomorrow, you can stop, put your pencil down, take a look at it over again. See if anything else comes to your mind. Okay. Once you're all set, you're going to take a picture of this and you're going to upload it onto Seesaw. Okay? So just to recap, I'm reading you mine. I chose one topic, which was day of the week. I wrote everything that came to my mind about that day. It's the start to the week, it's a fresh start, relaxed from the weekend, ready to go, motivated, positive. Ooh, another one just came to me. New beginnings. Sun. Okay. Keep those ideas flowing. All right, great job everyone. That is all we're doing for today until tomorrow for part two.